Here's an example of why pumps are your friend. Uh, this is a project that required about three acres of regrading. It was an old stormwater pond. It's going to be eventually rebuilt as a larger stormwater pond, but it's got to overwinter uh, until the work can be done. So hydro seeding was put down in September, and while it looks good here, back up over the slope, the seed hasn't taken enough so that the water that drains off is still too dirty to discharge over to the wetland and the, the uh, detention pond over here. The original drainage on this included a uh, catch basin down here, large catch basin, and then a pipe under the road to the detention pond. So the contractor put concrete, a concrete plug in the outlet of the catch basin, and the plug is, let's see, uh, one and a half times as long as the diameter of the pipe. So it's a pretty good sized concrete plug in there. And then they have a four inch submersible pump with a generator. This is not on a float switch. Um, I have asked them to put it on a float switch, but for now it's, a, it's just a manual operation. And the water's pumped about a quarter mile back up to the right here to uh, an infiltration pond, so all the water magically disappears into the ground. But this, uh, this has worked out really well, and uh, hopefully we'll get enough growth over the next couple of months that we can get rid of this system. So it is a little expensive, you know, labor and materials, we've got to come out and turn the thing on and gas it up and all that. So, But uh, pumps are a good thing to keep in mind for managing water.